Here we have a HP NV23. We're going to open up and explore the insides. There's many models of this. Some of the HP Pavilions look like this as well. They all use the same case, just a bit different. Some have different glass and different outside structure. First of all, we're going to tilt it down. Remember to put it on something soft, as there's a glass panel in front. You need to remove this square piece here. On the side, there's a hinge. It's a bit hard if you first time you remove it. Now we're going to need a screwdriver. We need to remove three screws. These screws don't come off. They actually, you just loosen them and they stay on the panel or the back plastic. Remember there's a warranty sticker on the side near the screw. You might want to make a cut in it so it's easier to remove the panel as um, it sticks two panels together. This is just a side view as um, just to show you the stand it is actually not flat with the screen. So when you put it, lie it down, remember to lie it down on the edge. Now to open it, we just shove our hand in the opening gaps and pry it open. If it's if you're struggling to open it, then um, you need to uns unscrew the screw more, as it might not be off completely. This is the hard drive, the DV drive, the fan, the motherboard's under there, and this is the quick access RAM. You can just open it to access the RAM only. Now we're going to remove the hard drive. There's only one screw holding the hard drive down. The screw stays on, just pull the lever back, and the hard drive comes off. And you put the hard drive back on and push it back in. It slides in, and that's how you put the hard drive back. Now with the DVD drive, you have to remove the front plastic. Tilt the front back and forward a bit, and um, it'll pop off, pop off the hinges or the tabs that's holding it down. There's no screws holding the front plastic down. Just wiggle a little bit, and um, it should come off. There's only one screw holding the DVD drive down. The screw actually comes off, so remember to put it aside. And you just need to slide the DVD drive forward. The cable actually stays in place. This is a laptop DVD drive, your fin type, and just slide it back to put it back in place. The board on top of the DVD drive is actually the backlight control. It provides your LCD screen or your screen with backlight and brightness control. Now to put back the plastic cover for the DVD drive, you put the bottom part in first and then you push it back against it, push it out. We're now going to remove the motherboard cover to expose the motherboard. You're going to have to change screw screwdriver for this. It's a star-shaped screwdriver, and there should be five screws holding the cover down. So this is the first screw.
seconds ago. Third screw. So that's the fourth screw. And there's a USB drive here. This is for your wireless keyboard and mouse. That's the fourth screw and that's the fifth screw. Now to remove the cover, you just tilt it up from the inside, just lift it up with one hand, it starts tilting up, and then you slide it off. So that this is the RAM. It uses, there's two slots and it uses the laptop RAM. When putting back, remember to align the gap on the RAM slot with the gap on the motherboard slot. That's the CPU under there, that's a graphic card, which is removable and replaceable. And that's the wireless card. That's it. Before opening up, opening up the HP NV or starting, remember to put something soft on the table and lie it down. And also remember to lie it down slightly to the edge as the legs stick out. And it's not even with the it's not even if you leave it on a flat table. And um that should be it. Thanks for watching.